Hey, what's happening guys? Today I want to answer a viewer question. He says he wants to know how to choose a filter capacitor for a rectified DC power supply. Uh, so, first of all, let's talk about rectifying the power supply. So, if this is our AC waveform, okay, it swings from plus 5 volt to minus 5 volts. That is the peak to peak. Okay? And what we want is a steady DC at 5 volts. So how do we do that? Well, we rectify it, either with a discrete uh, full bridge rectifier or um, you, know, you can get it in an IC package. But anyway, here's what happens then. Instead of this purple sine wave with our 5 volt peak to peak, what we end up with is something that looks more like this. Okay? Now, remember our original sine wave looked kind of like this. And it was at 60 hertz here in the U.S. or 50 hertz if you're in the U.K. What we're going to have here, our rectified, is going to be twice the frequency. So we might be looking at 120 hertz or 100 hertz and now if we were to take this relatively flat rectified dc current and zoom way in on it it's going to look like this and we are still going to have a very small peak to peak there and this by the way is signified as gamma in electronics that is the ripple okay and we don't want the ripple or we want an allowable amount of ripple that's going to be up to you to choose how much you actually want so let's look at a quick schematic of a power supply. So we have our transformer over here. And up to this point in the circuit, everything on this side is AC. What we have over here is DC. So we have our transformer that say comes in at 120 volts AC on the primary side and I don't know 12 volts DC on the secondary side that's fed into our bridge rectifier and out of it we end up getting our somewhat DC 12 volts but we are going to have that look with that ripple that gamma in all those peaks there we want to eliminate that as much as possible. And to do that, we're going to put in a smoothing capacitor, also known as a reservoir capacitor. But how are we going to determine the value for it? Well, it depends on your application. Just about everything is going to depend on your application. If you're building a one-off something you're working on at home my method is to just find the uh, biggest thickest electrolytic capacitor I can find and you know throw her in there if it's not enough add another one or get a bigger one but actually there is a formula to figure that out so to figure out 
our value of capacitor C is going to be equal to the current that we're expecting I divided by twice the frequency because remember we're using that full bridge rectifier so our 60 Hertz coming in is going to be 120 volts coming out times what we will accept as our ripple are you with me so far okay so the one thing to keep in mind here is that the only place we are talking about voltage in this formula is in the peak to peak part so let's say that we need two amps and let's say that we will allow one volt peak to peak and let's say we're in Europe so it's going to be two times 50 well that is going to give us a value of 0 0.02 farads or 20,000 microfarads that's how you figure it out that's the formula your capacitor equals your highest expected current divided by twice the frequency times your allowable peak to peak and that's how you pick your capacitor your smoothing or reservoir capacitor in a DC power supply so I hope this helped I hope it answered your question and I hope it makes some sense if it does I hope you will give me a thumbs up feel free to comment and share and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.